Welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name's Bob and in this series of videos we're going to be looking at some of the new features in SAP HANA SPS 10. In this series of videos we'll be looking at some of the new features related to modeling and in this video we'll be looking at creating star joins in calculation views when using the web-based development workbench. Now the ability to create star joins in calculation views was actually introduced in SAP HANA SPS 07. Um, the feature here of course in SPS 10 is that you can create a star join but in a calculation view but when you're using the web-based development workbench. So what is a star join and why would you need it? Well you need to use a star join when you've got multiple fact tables but you want measures from both fact tables. Now, of course, you could have done this before with having multiple analytic views and joining them together in a calculation view. Or, of course, now in SPS 10, as a data source, you can have SQL views. So you could do all this work with an SQL view, i.e. Um, combining two fact tables together. But what with the star join, you're able to do all this in one singular calculation view. So I'm going to log on to my um, web-based development workbench. And what I'll do is I'm going to create one more fact table. So I'm just going to show you what data we've got. And we're going to add a, another fact table. So we've got a, a dimension table called employees. We're going to union that data with another table called more employees. So we've got We've got five employees in here, and let's just say we've got five in here. We've got a singular fact table, but we're going to add another fact table. So if I launch a SQL console and I paste in that syntax, it's very straightforward. We're creating another fact table called employee salary, which does the same as this. It's got the same primary key, so we're going to join in the primary key. Apart from this contains another measure that we want to obtain. So I'll execute that. We've created that table. So now we've got one dimension, two fact tables, but our, one of our dimensions is going to be consisted, going to consist of two dimension tables. So of course I'm going to go to the editor, and what I'll do is I'll create myself a new calculation view, and I'm going to call this star join. Now the key thing here is that it will be a cube, but this is going to have it be a star join, which means again we'll be able to join those two fact tables together. So I'll select create. So what we'll have at the top level is if I go once it once it's loaded, you'll see that we have this object here, which is new in the web-based development workbench of that star join. So what we'll do is we'll join the two fact tables together first. So if I select my join object, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go and select those two fact tables. So I'm going to click on add to add the objects. If I do a search for facts, we should have two fact tables. So I'll select both the employee rating and the employee salary. We'll join on that ID, so I'm going to drag and join on that ID, and that essentially is going to be our join. So now that we've joined, uh, we can now link this to the star join, and this is where we can go and add those other objects. So now if I go with that join, uh, of, of course, sorry, firstly I need to select the columns that I want, so if I go to the mapping, I'm going to select, um, in this simple example, I'm going to select the um, ID, the team ID, we'll leave the date out for now, the employee ID, the employee rating, and also of course from the other facts table, the employee salary. So now if I go back to my star join, we can go and add another of our calculated views. So any tables that you want would need to go into a calculated view. 
In a previous video, we created a calculated view called Union. So that's what I'm going to add here. So let me show you what it looks like. So in case you haven't seen the video, if I double click on that Union calculated view, this is what it looks like. And essentially, I've unioned a few different tables together. So here you can see I've unioned three different tables. If I go into that union object, and here you can see that these are the three, these are the objects that I've joined to. Um, so this is a combination of all three tables. The employees table, which contained five rows. The more employees table, which contained another five rows. They're actually the only tables that we need. And then I've unioned them together and I've output the data in the form of a um, calculation view. So we don't need to change anything here. So I'll just shut down that calculation view. So of course, of course, to add this union calculation view, I'll just click here on the green plus button and I'll select union. So again, any dimension table would need to be in that um, cal in a calculation view. I'll double click on union. So now we've added it. So now we've got that union, we've got the ID and we know that this is an employee ID. So I'm going to link this to employee ID like so. Of course, you might want to think about the cardinality. So for me, it's going to be a many to one. Like so. And that's it. Of course, if I go to my mapping, You'll only see the objects in the actual um, in the join. Um, so you can select whichever columns you want. I'm just going to select them all. Of course, all the rest of the columns are in the semantics because within semantics, when you do your star join, you have both the private list of objects, which of course come from the, 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 the join of the two fact tables. And you have the shared objects, which of course come from the actual extra calculation view. So these are the columns that are going to be outputted. So we've got role, name, and we've got ID. Um, so I'm going to, um, we, there's a couple of these columns that we don't need. So if I scroll to the right, I'm going to hide the ID underscore one. I don't need the, t the team ID. I'm not going to inc even include the employee ID. If I scroll down, I'm only going to have the employee rating and the employee salary. And also I'm going to hide the key here as well. Don't need the key, let's imagine. So we're only going to output the four columns, the two dimension attributes and the two facts. So when you've done that, all you need to do, of course, now is save and activate. Don't forget to change the view properties. If I go back to the view properties, we're not using any analytic privileges. And I'm going to change my default schema to be um, SHA. Again, I'll save and activate. And of, of course, lastly, what I'll do is I'll view the results. And there you can see the combination of the two fact tables and the data from that extra dimension. So I hope you enjoyed that short video where we created a star join, which again wasn't new in SAP HANA, but it was new when you create it in a calculation view in the um, web-based development workbench when you're using SAP HANA SPS 10.